Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will learn how to heat ethanol using HiSys. All right, we are now inside the HiSys. First, we go to component list. In this one, add, we click HiSys. Okay, and then we will use ethanol in this simulation. Click add, and then water, H2O. Okay, we have ethanol and H2O. You can click this one, auto height. And we are okay. As you can see the status. From here, we go to fluid package. And we will select for the fluid package, PRSV. Okay, this one. The property package is okay to be used. And we are ready to go to simulation environment. All right. You can use heater because we want to heat. Auto hide. We can change the icon. Right click, change icon. Okay, as you can see, but we will not use this one. I prefer we go to heat transfer. Use this one, heat exchanger. Right click, change icon. Yeah, this one is better this one okay so we can delete this equipment right click delete okay we will use this one you can also close this one okay open inside the tube ethanol solution in tube side outlet ethanol solution out and this is a heater, so we will use warm water. Shell side inlet, warm water. Shell side outlet, cooled water. Okay, unknown delta P, unknown pressure drop, it's okay. We go to worksheet and we will input the data. Temperature in Celsius, pressure in KPA, molar flow in kilogram mole per hour. So for the ethanol in, 30 degrees Celsius, 100 kPa, 35 kilogram mole per hour. There will be pressure drop of 10 kPa, so the pressure will be 90. We will heat the ethanol from 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. All right, and for the warm water, temperature starting from 60 degrees Celsius. 100 kPa, 75 kilogram mole per hour. Okay, the temperature at outlet side of the shell will be calculated and we will set the pressure drop to be 10 kPa. So the cold water pressure outlet, 90 kPa. All right, from here, we are in worksheet conditions. We go to compositions. Okay, and then for the ethanol solution in 0 0.4. So the water will be 0 0.6 mole fraction. Okay, ethanol out automatically populated. And for the warm water, of course, we will use pure water one. Okay. All right. So the calculation or the simulation has been completed. We can close. All right. The warm water, ethanol in, ethanol out, and the cold water. And we can check the data for cold water. Right click, show table. Okay, and also the ethanol out. All right, we can modify the process. We can modify the condition. Let's say if you want to close the gap between temperature at ethanol outlet and the cold water. So this is, the difference is around 13 Celsius, ethanol out and cold water, we can adjust. 
So let's say we open again the heat exchanger. Let's say 45. Okay, as you can see, the temperature drops to 50 Celsius. What about 50? Okay. Still not solve. 46. Okay, 46 and 49, it's good. Simulation is okay. 48. Okay. It's close. 48, temperature at ethanol solution out. And 48, practically 48, the temperature of the cooled water. Right, so that's all the process of heating ethanol solution using warm water. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next high video. videos. Thank you.